In about a week's time, I'm gonna be attempting the longest ride of my life. I'm gonna be doing the Cebu Odax, the 600 kilometer ride. I'm gonna try to get it all done straight. Like, no sleep in between. That's the plan, but we know what happens to plans. <laughs> So a lot of my rides have been these flat endurance rides and I tried to vlog about it in one of the rides and uh, here's some of the footage. That basically is going to sum up the day. We're just going to try to keep it steady and try to fit in. Uh, I ended up wasting a lot of footage on that ride. So the train for it, I've been spending a lot of time on this bike with 700 by 30 tires. Not my preferred setup, honestly. I do miss my off-road rides on this bike. But for on the road riding, it's pretty quick. I'm a little bit worried with my current setup because I have not had a refit ever since exchanging my handlebar so the stem is a little bit longer. So I do notice on the flat rides that I am not 100% comfortable. And you know it's fine on those short flat rides but over the span of 600 kilometers those little uncomfortable things it's gonna be really annoying <laughs> last off-road climbs maybe a, a month or two ago I brought my surly I went up there and then just crossed and did a little like exploration with a bunch of high efforts in between because it was not easy getting up there and then once you reach the other end it was also not easy getting up the other end and I miss rides like that and, and rides like that are you know, just not possible with the current setup. Now don't get me wrong, I love the current setup, but it just doesn't allow me to do the type of riding that I love the most. So, for the Cebu 600, the plan is to fill the secret stash, villain secret stash top tube bag with as much food as possible, along with a power bank. Basically, that's the plan. I'm gonna be putting so much food in my pockets that it should be able to limit my stops during that ride. And on the water bottles, I'm gonna put one water bottle full of water and another water bottle, probably 200 grams of sugar. I've just gotten used to just putting sugar as a carbohydrate drink and that's been very helpful. The rest of the setup is still the same. Salet Saddle, Far Sports F1S, integrated handlebar, Valkyrie Pro 700 by 30 with 
Magin TPU inner tubes and I've got to say I've done a few hundred kilometers on them already and I've only had two flats and they've been surprisingly easy to patch surprisingly easy <laughs> I'm going to be using the IGP Sports cyclo computer to navigate and record the whole thing it should be able to stay on the whole time battery life on this thing is impressive in terms of preparation not much has changed in all honesty I talked about it more in depth in another video but basically VO2 max session early in the week rest day then steady state then rest day then during the weekend anything goes the only real thing that's changed is that since the kids have had no school I've been able to up my hours from around six to eight hours to like I don't know 10 to 12 I think I'll, I'll post my Strava up just to just so you can get a better sense by the way did you notice the new helmet pretty snazzy here's a quick video about it sponsored by cycle meeting something I've always wanted but for some reason I just never got myself one and uh, thanks to cycle meeting I just got it doo, 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 doo. it's nice <laughs> I think it fits pretty well too so cycle meeting sent me a pop ventral light helmet honestly I wanted a light colored one like I really for some reason really wanted the orange one but they currently have these darker ones they have a bunch of POC helmets for sale in their website make sure to check out cycle meeting on their Facebook page I am excited to test this helmet and if it's comfortable enough this will probably be the helmet that I will use in the Cebu 600 Audax feels comfortable feels comfortable in the in the office Thank you Cycle Meeting for sending this over. So the strategy for the Cebu 600 Audax will be to basically stick to my zone 2. I'm going to use a heart rate monitor to make sure I'm not exerting too much. And I'm going to make sure that I get about 60 grams of carbs, at least 60 grams of carbs per hour. That means I'm going to do a lot of eating, but there are problems to that strategy. First problem is that at the start, it's going to be, you know, enthusiastic. People are going to go faster than normal. And I might opt to draft a group and exert a little bit more effort just for the extra speed so we'll see how that goes and the other problem with sticking with zone 2 is that the Cebu Audax route is pretty hilly like really hilly was so going up the hills I'm gonna have to exert more effort than I want to but generally speaking if I get to stick to my zone 2 I should I should be able to bike the whole day now that's another big question mark because it's been a while since i've ridden the whole day although i did have the ultra gravel which was basically a 12 hour event 11 hours of which i was cycling so we'll see 600k is going to be more than twice 12 hours <laughs> so we'll see but that's what I want to do I want to keep going and try not to have a lot of stops
people. I am recording this about a week before the Cebu Odak, so one last big ride tomorrow and then and then it's gonna be the Cebu Odax. You know what? Let's hop to tomorrow. Let's see how that big ride went. Here it is. So today we're testing everything. The bike setup, the clothing I'm wearing, the food I'm gonna get. I just I usually eat chocolate mucho, but they didn't have it at the store. And even the strategy for the ride. So gonna be a very strict zone two ride with a hill in the middle and some downhill after that and back. Let's see how far we get to do it today. I just did 150.61 kilometers, 913 meters of elevation gain with 5 hours, 43 minutes, and 4 seconds moving time. I'm pretty happy with that, but I'm not gonna lie. The last 20 to 30 kilometers was mentally hard. And then my, my hands were not comfortable. They, they they didn't hurt or anything but you know they were they were carrying too much weight the fit's not exactly there yet but i am pleasantly surprised and and hopeful that uh i'm going to be able to do the Cebu 600 i might have to change my expectations a little bit like initially i wanted to do the Cebu 600 without any stops or with as little stops as possible and after this 150 kilometer effort uh, I don't know I'm gonna play it by ear the, the you can hear the baby in the background the heat was definitely a factor and it, 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 it felt like it slowed me down significantly but I'm hopeful so you know, what's a 600 kilometer effort anyway? It's just today times four all at once. It's not so bad. All right, so I'll let you know how it goes in a future vlog. If you want to stay updated, consider subscribing to the newsletter over here. All right, no boring days. Please subscribe.